the trick. Today, I'm gonna address one of the five things I dislike about this Street Glide CVO. This also will apply to your Road Glide ST, Street Glide ST, as well as your Road Glide CVO, and really any other Milwaukee 8 that has this heavy breather and a 117 engine. And I'm gonna show you a couple of fixes to address this right after this. That's right guys, um, this heavy breather on my Street Glide CVO is really one of the things that I really dislike about the CVO. Um, I've test ridden a Road Glide ST with the same thing and it's really the same issue. And I wanna show you what that issue is, show you two solutions to this problem and how to address this step by step. So let me show you what the problem is right now. So that's right guys, here's the problem with this heavy breather, at least for me, and I think there's others out there that have the same issue. As I go to put on this brake, you can see, to get my foot on that brake pad, my shin is constantly banging up against this heavy breather elbow here, um, and I don't like it. So I'm going to show you, again, two solutions to address this um, and make this not an issue. So as I said, there's really two solutions to this problem. And for me, I want to make this, keep this bike looking as stock as possible. So I want to use the Harley Davidson part. There's a lot of other parts out there for these air cleaners to replace this, but you can go with this Screaming Eagle ventilator um, kit that you can buy brand new from Harley Davidson. Um, and I'll put a link in the part number to that um, down in the description. Or you can go the route I did. I actually found a, this is a brand new CVO takeoff from a 117. Um, I wanted to have this 117 plate. I needed the chrome because this bike is chrome. But in this model year, and also for obviously for the STs, they don't have a ventilator kit that goes with this. So the only way to get the CVO one is to find it sort of on eBay is where I found it because Harley Davidson will not sell you a CVO 117 ventilator breather if it doesn't match your VIN number. That's how they protect these CVOs. So um, there's a lot of these ventilator breathers out there. If you want to change out this heavy breather to a ventilator, um, sometimes the challenge is obviously if you have a 117, you have the heavy breather, you want this 117 emblem. I was fortunate enough to find this, but like I said, the other option is to go with the Screaming Eagle kit. Um, but in both cases, and I will get into the installation of this. There's one part that you will need to get either from your dealer or in the eBay marketplace. And I'll show you what that is um, as we kind of go along. In order to get this heavy breather off uh, so that we can install the ventilator breathers, we need to get this portion, the elbow and this breather portion off. And there's one, two, three bolts here. And those are actually 3 16 Allen, um, which I am actually just gonna put in here. Um, and then you'll use your socket with an extension. And I won't bore you with that, but I will show you when I get this off what that looks like. And just like that, all the bolts are removed. So now I've taken the heavy breather off. As you can see, um, I only have about just a little over 2,000 miles and you can see kind of the, uh, the carbon burn inside of there. And then inside of here is actually a throttle body. So just be really careful so that you don't get something um, inside of there. So the next step is we need to remove this bolt and this bolt, and this is a T45. So again, with your socket, just loosen these. Okay, so I've now removed these breather bolts here. This is what where it allows blow-by to come back into um, the throttle body. And now to remove this entire housing off here, I need to remove these three bolts, which are actually 532nd. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen those up and then we should be able to pull that entire um, housing off there. And we'll get this last one out. They were not too awfully tight in here. I'm gonna hold this housing now so I don't drop it. Get this last bolt out of here. After now I've removed these three bolts, which were 5 seconds. I removed these T45 bolts here that allowed me to pull off this backing for the heavy breather that was on here. Um, so now that we've got this all exposed, we're actually ready to 
install the, the ventilator kit on here. But I told you earlier, there's, if you get the Screaming Eagle kit directly from Harley Davidson, or you get a complete kit uh, from the aftermarket, maybe an eBay, you will need actual breather bolts for here and here. Um, these T45 bolts will not work with the ventilator kit um, because you actually need hoses that will hook up and go into this breather. Um, the way this is routed, it actually allowed the blow-by, um, I believe, to come in through the ventilator into the, the housing in a different manner um, with this heavy breather. So, that's a little tip. Um, if you don't have those, this is not going to work. So these are the actual uh, instructions for a Screaming Eagle kit. Um, I actually have these from when I put this on, actually the 2019 Road King Special, and I'll put a link to that video as well because I step-by-step step go through putting it on a 114. Okay, so here's the ventilator backing kit. Um, as you can see, it has the gasket on the back. It has these two, I believe these are 532 uh, Allen, and those three bolts, again, will just go in here with that gasket going up against the throttle body. Okay, so I got my blue Loctite on there. I'm gonna start with this top one first and get it started. Then get this side, the second one here. At the bottom and this side. And we'll get that, get those screwed in. Before we completely tighten these down, um, I'm going to go ahead and put these breather bolts in. And for this, you'll actually need a, uh, I believe this is a 7 16 um, socket for this. I'm gonna put some blue Loctite on that and those are gonna go right into here. Um, and then after we get all these in and lined up, we'll then go ahead and tighten these up with the, uh, the torque specs that are listed in the instructions. Um, and I'll also put a copy of these instructions um, down in the description as well. Okay, so I've got the blue Loctite on these, so I'm just gonna hand tighten these going into the cylinder head. Get that one in there, then get this one. So now I've got those in, and, and it, the instructions say actually to kind of leave these loose, and I think that's just so you can get this lined up, but. Uh, it's not too difficult. If you got these lined up, everything is going to line up just fine. So now I'll go ahead and uh, set these to the torque spec. And it looks like the breather screws, the two breather screws, the torque spec is 22 to 24 foot pounds. And these screws going into here um, are actually 55 to 60 inch pounds. Um, torque spec. So I'm going to go ahead and get that torque down and then um, we'll move on to the next step. Now I got the backing plate on and before you put the air cleaner on um, you need to get these breather tubes on here. So as you can see they slip over those breather bolts that I put on, slip into here, they just kind of pop in and again that's to get any oil blow by back into that um, to go back into the throttle body to let the engine burn that up. So we've got those set now. Now that I've got the breather tubes on, I'm ready to actually install the um, actual air cleaner. So that's real simple. Um, words go up, kind of just stick it on there. And then the actual covering plate goes like this with this portion up, it has the warning. And then you just put in the two screws. I've got the Loctite on those. And we'll kind of hand tighten those first. Get those started. And that essentially will hold the air cleaner and this plate all together.
And then we'll torque this down. Um, I'll get my torque wrench out, but it's 55 to 60 um, inch pounds on this. Okay, so final step in this installation is to get this 117 faceplate or whatever faceplate you decide to put on. And again, just two screws going right here. Um, get these blue lock tied it up. And this is actually, I think, a 1 8 hex bit that we'll use on that. So I'll just hand tighten this one, get it started. And then we'll get the other side. We'll get this one started. And again, those are Loctited already. So the torque specs on these two screws here just to hold this face plate in is 27 to 32 inch pounds. So I'll go ahead and get that torque down and then this installation will be complete. So pretty simple change out from that heavy breather to this ventilator style uh, breather kit onto this Milwaukee 8 117. And again, you can do this same process for your Street Glide and Rogue Glide ST. Um, your CVO Street Glide, your CVO Rogue Glide that might have that heavy breather. Um, and so now what I want to do is show you how much more access and how much easier it is. And I'm not going to bang my shin any longer um, to get to that brake pedal. So let me do that now. So there you have it guys. You can see um, no more impeding uh, for me to get to the brake pedal. The heavy breather is back behind my calf. Um, no more hitting my shin on a breather trying to get to the brake. So, so I'm excited guys. As you saw, um, no more uh, leg or my shin beating up against that uh, heavy breather. Um, I can ride this comfortably for many, many miles. I can actually reach my foot up to the, the crash bar on both sides now if I want to relax and put my heels up on top of that. So um, for me, this is just a better option. Um, you know, the other one looks really, really cool. I like the look. That's why they put them on these CVOs. That's why they put them on the STs. Um, but from a function perspective for legs, at least for me, um, was not a great option. So I think that'll wrap it up, guys. The bike still sounds great. No issues. No, will be no performance issues. No additional tuning needed just because I changed this. Essentially, all the research I found is that this ventilator kit essentially puts about the same amount of air in as the breather kit. It's just a matter of look and what you want your bike to look like. Um, so with that, I wanna leave you with this. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.